Does anybody else watch those trash picker videos on YouTube and wonder what on earth those girls are doing? Who wants to go through my trash? That's what we're gonna do today, is go through my beauty trash. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and it has the same effect on me. God help us, I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna do it. So, hi, welcome to my channel. If you haven't guessed already, my name is Caitlin, and if you are new here, I would love to have you hit that red subscribe button, join the family, and join the nuttiness. We are a small family, but we're a tight-knit little community, and make sure you sound off below, introduce yourself below. I'd love to say hi to you. And there are links in the description box if you would like to follow me on other social medias or find other pages that I am on. So today, like I said, we're going to go through my trash. I have kept in this little Shopkins bucket all my empty beauty products. The fact that this container is so small should speak to quite a few things. A, I have too much crap. B, I don't use things all the way through because I have too much crap. And C, I probably do not apply as much makeup as I should on a monthly basis. So these are just empties from the month of May. We're gonna go ahead and talk about them. I will talk about whether or not I would use them again or buy them again or if I did and my thoughts and general feelings right now. The first thing I wanna talk about is a product that I actually got as a free sample in the mail. Well, this is the Olay Foaming Whip Body Wash and this is in the scent or whatever, shea butter. And it's supposed to be a luxe lather with a weightless feel. So I will say yes, it had a very nice luxurious foam. It was weightless. It rinsed away clean. It did not leave my skin feeling greasy. It's just not, in my opinion, economical. So I went through this little can very, very quickly. I am not a humongous person. Like I was the only one who used this. And I just went through it so fast. And I like the little spout. I love the, love the nozzle that it has on it but when you when you're pushing it down it's just it's just a bit much so I mean I went through this very quick and again I hate getting like metal I don't know because then you gotta recycle it and I, I'm just being picky I know but would I buy this in stores probably not did it do a good job for me while I had it yes if it seems like something that you would maybe like or if it's something that you would use you could definitely give it a try because like I said it is a good product it just doesn't suit me personally another item I finally used up was this Pantene volumizing hairspray and it's supposed to be a high lifting hairspray in an aerosol can it was okay this fragrance drove me up a wall it was not a good scent I don't know if I got a bad can but I powered through it I used the entire thing I'm so glad it's gone that's all I'm gonna say I have had other Pantene hairsprays that I like a lot more than I liked this one so I'm gonna recycle this bad boy too another thing that I use the entire bottle of or jar of this is this physician's formula this is called the perfect match three-in-one cleansing balm I have been so big into cleansing balms. I love them because A, they do not sting. If you get them in the eye, I can get right in there and really go after that mascara without having to get another product involved. I used the entire jar. I literally used it clean. I went out and bought three more jars of this. That's how serious I am about the product. They were buy two, get one free. So I had to have more. What started me on this was BoxyCharm sent a cleansing balm from the brand Pharmacy, which I loved. It was actually better than this, but only by a little bit. But this is the drugstore brand, and if you look, there are sometimes coupons, and there are always sales in the drugstores, like the buy one. Or there was actually buy one, get one free, not buy two, get one free. So that was even better. So I got it for $6 and change versus the $13 and change. Really, really love it. Awesome product. Worked really, really well. Another item I am throwing away, and this one breaks my heart, and this is by Bosha. This is the Subaki Beauty Oil. This just went bad. I didn't use it in time before it went bad. It has a nasty, funky smell, so I know it's gone bad. Bosha, for those of you who do not know, is a Korean skincare line, and this product is good for hair, skin, and nails, and it is beautiful. It is wonderful, but again, they're an all-natural line. So the way that I have been to Bosha's headquarters, I won a trip when I worked for Sephora, so that's how I, I know all about this. What they do is they process their product so that it never touches the air or human hands until it, like, it goes into the bottle, and once it's sealed, until you open it, it is perfectly preserved without preservatives because it has never been exposed to any elements or any outside agents. Once you open it, it's exposed and then it has the time clock on it for how long you can use it. Now normally this would last a good long time, but I've had this for quite a bit of time now. So <laughs> it's gotta go. It's mm. the thing I finally used up was my Too Faced Absolutely Invisible Translucent Pressed Powder. I am 
nearly to pan. The only reason why I am getting rid of it before I use up all this is for the simple fact that it is just crumbling now. So whenever I touch it with a brush, it just crumbles off the edges. You've got big chunks of powder getting on your clothes, getting all over your bathroom. It's just, it's seen, it's seen the end. We are at the end of him. Would I buy this again? Probably not. There are other pressed translucent powders that I've come to lot to love a lot better. Was it horrible? No, so I used it up. Another product that I used all of is this Sephora Bright Future. Uh, this is a BB cream with a broad spectrum SPF 25, and this is in the shade Pure Ivory. This had light coverage. It has the SPF. It was great for those really lazy like days or the no makeup days where you just smear something on your face and you're rushing out the door. I used the entire bottle. I actually got this on sale. It was on one of those short period of time sales for $9. So it was a steal for me for a Sephora brand. I, but I would buy this again at the $9 price point. I would not pay the full price, which I think was $18. So I... If you can get it on a sale, I would definitely say go for it, but there are other drugstore BB creams around the $9 price point that do what this does. Another item I use the entire bottle of, this is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Vital Power Fusion Serum. It was in my bag, my Ipsy bag, I don't know, I used the whole thing. Uh, it was a serum, it went on, it was soft, did I see drastic results, no. Uh, are there other serums that I'm using currently that did better? Yes. This was one thing that I will say was really good for this is when I got a sunburn, this was gentle enough that I could put on my sunburn that it did not sting or feel like it caused more issues. So I will say that. So if you have sensitive skin, this might be a product that you want to look into. For me, it was just okay. A night cream by the brand Clark's Botanicals, and this is the Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream. <sighs> Let us all have a moment of silence for this tiny little guy. So I stretched this. It, like, look at this cream. I stretched this. Oh, it smells so good. It's a retinol cream. And it is super expensive. The full size one is about $100. I got this in my Ipsy bag. Thank you, Ipsy, for killing me. Because it is beautiful. It feels beautiful. It's luxurious. It works really well. When I wake up in the morning, my skin is even and fresh and awake and beautiful. And it's way too expensive. I would never pay $100 for a face cream. Never in a million years. Um, so, bye Clark. So that was my empties. Those are my trash items. Those are the things that I am throwing away this month. As far as beauty, I did go through a bottle of the Biolage Color Safe Shampoo. Let me know if this is a video that you like. Give it a thumbs up if you would like to see next month's trash items. <laughs> For as weird as that sounds, if you want to see my trash next month, hit that like button. Maybe comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I will see you in my next video. Bye.